Hey everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Welcome to Simply Happy Marlo. So today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be all about just a quick emergency kit, things you should have always in your car at all times, just to be on the safe side. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I really hope you enjoy this video and it is helpful to you. If it is, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I actually do have one or two other car related videos here on my channel, so I would love for you to check them out. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, welcome back. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. So let's just get right into it. One of the most important things that I have here in my car is my glass breaker and seatbelt kit cutter. Um, you can get this on Amazon. I will try to link as many products as I can below. Um, you just tap on glass with this and it breaks the glass easily. And then on the opposite side, it has a seatbelt cutter. So if you are ever in that scenario, which I hope you never are, but if you are ever, it helps you to get out of the car real quick. Um, and so you can escape as quickly as possible. And it comes in a little nice container, all good. Next item that I have is one that I actually don't remember how I got, um, but it is a wonderful product nevertheless. It is a solar power charger and light. So if you are ever waiting for emergency roadside or you know you're gonna be stuck somewhere for a little bit longer than you need to and you need to keep your phone charged or a device charged, you can use this. It's solar powered, especially right now. Um, as you guys can see in the background is the sun. You can charge it as much as you possibly can. Put it outside for a few hours, pop it in the car, and then you are ready to use it whenever, if you ever need to use it. Um, so those are two products that I are just always a must in any car emergency. Um, the next thing I want to chat about is a emergency first aid kit. I have a little Johnson & Johnson first aid kit and I just have band-aids, um, let's see, cleansing, uh, wipes, uh, all of that kinds of stuff, stuff that you just need in a quick emergency. If you get any cuts or scrapes or anything like that, it also has like gauze. You can get pick up any of those items pretty much at any grocery store or pharmacy. You can pick up emergency kits that are already prepared for you. Uh, if you want to create your own, you can always stop by the Dollar Tree. That's a wonderful place actually to make an emergency kit. So if you don't want to be at the cost of buying a pre-made one, you can make your own really, really cheap at Dollar Tree. Next thing I want to mention is something for me that's always a must in the car whenever I get in the car, um, but is always good to have in case of emergency is water and water bottle. So the reason why I mention both is one, this is a Brita filter water bottle. So wherever you are, if you're near a body of water and you're not sure how clean the water is gonna be for you to drink and you might be hesitant, if the Brita filter in here filters the water as you drink it or you can just filter it through here and then put it in a water bottle like this. Now, of course, you can drink it just straight from a bottle like this. Um, that's how you buy it. Or my personal favorite, and I'm gonna actually be discussing this in another video, is reusable water bottle, stainless steel bottles. They, most, most of them on the market keep a cold drink cold for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours and a hot drink hot for about 10 to 15 hours just depending on the company that you uh that you purchase uh the company water bottle some are 24 hours some are 12 um but i always keep this with me on hand anytime on that note along the lines of like food and water and whatnot i like to have a snack so like i mentioned earlier if you know you're going to be somewhere for probably longer than a half an hour an hour you might get, you know, want to have yourself a little nosh while you're waiting, especially if you're waiting for emergency roadside and they say they're going to be two or three hours. 
you know you're gonna get hungry. And so it's always good to have a couple of non-perishable items that you can just keep in the trunk or keep in the glove seat compartment or in the middle compartment and just have, so if you're ever in that kind of situation, you always have something to eat. Um, for me, it's usually a bag like this of just potato chips. Quick, easy, simple, does the job. Um, now, of course, if you're gonna be somewhere a little longer um, and you know, you're gonna be somewhere for a few hours, possibly overnight, God forbid, or something like that, I always like to have what is technically called as an MRE, a, um, a meal ready to eat kind of bag where you just add water, uh, where you add water to this and you pretty much close it up, shake it a little bit, wait a few minutes, uh, depending on the instructions. And then, you know, easy, convenient, and you don't have to worry about possibly trekking a few miles to get a meal. You can just have this in a pinch. Um, as far as any other must need items that I like to have as in my emergen car emergency kit is as weird as this may sound, I always like to carry around an extra roll of toilet paper. Um, of course, wherever you are, and especially in an emergency, if you have to go to the bathroom, which you ultimately will at some point, um, usually during an emergency, if it's going to be a long wait for, like I mentioned earlier, roadside assistance or for your friend to come get you, family member, whoever, and you need to use the restroom, you know, nature calls. It's always good to have something to, you know, to wipe with. So I always like to keep a roll of toilet paper, um, kind of along those lines, anybody with female parts. I highly recommend keeping a box just in case it's that time of, you know, either tampons or pads, something, um, something that you can pretty much dispose of really quickly um, when you can, when you have the chance and something that's going to, of course, protect you um, if it is that time of the month. And then last but not least, especially in an emergency kind of situation, I like to keep this. I've never used it, so you'll see that it's still sealed in the bag as a thermal emergency blanket. Um, it helps retain and reflect body heat. It is windproof and waterproof and just, you know, easy, compact storage. Um, thankfully, I've never used this. Um, thank God. But, you know, always to be, always good to be on the safer side. I know that may seem like a lot of things majority of the stuff you can get for either free or really, really cheap. I think the most expensive thing I have in this whole entire emergency kit haul is probably 15, 20 bucks at most. Um, and that is the most expensive item in this kit. Everything else, like I said, you can find at any major box store, convenience store, supermarket, or Dollar Tree. Um, to be able to get, but yeah. Um, so thank you so much for checking out today's video. I know it was kind of short, sweet to the point, but that's what you kind of need in an emergency is you just wanna you know, know the necessities that you need to have that you should have in the car at all times, just in case to be prepared. Um, if you guys like, want any more car uh, related videos, please let me know. I would love to hear from you all. Either comment below or send me an email at simplyhappymarlow at gmail.com. And thanks for checking out this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as part of the family. And that's it. So thanks for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.